many things more beautiful than a perennial garden. When you manage to hit just the right note with a skillful combination of form, colour and texture, it really can be breathtaking. But the million dollar question that many gardeners ask a lot is just what is a perennial? Strictly speaking, a perennial is any plant that lives at least three growing seasons. Woody perennials, such as trees, shrubs and vines, technically fit the bill. But the term perennial is widely used to describe longer-lived plants with non-woody growth that replenish either continually or in yearly cycles. Perennials covers a huge range of plant choices, from ferns, bushes, grasses and ornamental flowers to ground covers. And with so many dynamic options, there's a myriad of ways to create a beautiful garden that reflects your own personal taste and style. Within the broader perennial category, there are also evergreen and herbaceous perennials. Evergreens retain their foliage all year round and include examples like this lamandra, fabulous landscaping plants that are widely used, take sun or shade, and also this poa, which is another Australian native, beautiful for habitat and also to create a sense of movement in a garden. Herbaceous perennials send up stems which reach full height, flower and die down and then the plant regrows all within the cycle of a year. Examples include old-fashioned favourites like hydrangeas, but these perennial asters and sedums. Perennial asters are quite an old-fashioned plant. They flower in summer and into autumn and they make great cut flowers. And sedums look attractive from when their foliage first appears in spring right through their flowering period over summer and into autumn. And both of these plants are absolute hits with beneficial bugs like bees and butterflies. Perennial garden designs are known for their harmony and variety. There are a few factors to consider. Form. Consider the silhouette you want to create. Take advantage of plants that already have two-tiered habits or create layers yourself by mixing leaf and flower shapes. Texture. While flowers contribute most to the planting scheme, it's the foliage that can have the greatest impact. Colour. This can be as daring or subtle as you please. So, blend cool tones, blues, mauves and purples, warm tones, yellows, pinks and oranges, or even elegant monotone design in silver and white. Seasonality. There's a perennial for every season, so plan a succession of seasonal colour that changes throughout the year. Let's try some perennial combinations to give you an idea of how these might look at your place. Start with height. No matter how big or small your bed, a well-designed mixture of different heights will look good from any angle. And tall plants, like these amazing structural plants, will look fantastic at the back of a bed or in the middle of a bed to create a strong impact. This one here, you can see how tall it is just in the pot. This is Miscanthus giganteus. Miscanthus have these soft, plumy seed heads. They're sterile, so they're not invasive. And this particular form can get three to four metres high. In autumn and winter, the foliage goes this beautiful yellow colour and dies off, but it actually stays on the plant and creates winter interest. And then, at the end of winter, before the new growth starts, you cut it right down at ground level. Here I've got some salvias. Now, there are so many beautiful salvias. This is one called Megan's Magic that gets to about 1.3 metres high. It has these beautiful flowers which are loved by bees and honey-eating birds. And similarly, these flowers are also a hit with honey-eating birds. This is a Phygelius or Cape Fuchsia. And this particular one, Moonraker, gets to between a metre and 1.2 metres high. Has these beautiful flowers over a long period. And rather than cut it back right to the ground, I tend to just prune off the flower spikes and a bit more. And then here, this is Perovskia. Now, Russian sages have this amazing combination of purple flowers and really silver foliage. And rather than prune them down to ground level, you cut them about in the middle to let them bush up like a sub shrub. It's also important to combine plants that enjoy the same conditions. So, 
shade loving with shade loving and sun loving with sun loving. Next, mid-sized plants. They're probably going to range in height from say 40 centimetres up to a metre and they may well end up being the bulk of your planting between your tall plants and the edging plants. Now this one at the back has fabulous flowers and foliage. It's a caryopteris with amazing blue flowers, but this gorgeous combination with this lime green foliage is really striking. This particular one gets to about 80 centimetres high and it is deciduous, so you trim it like a shrub. Down at the front here, we've got Stochesia. Now these beautiful flowers are really striking. You can see strong growth coming from the bottom. They get to about 30, 40 centimetres high and flower during the warmer weather. And at the front, for something different, a carex. This one is called Testacea. It has these interesting foliage combinations of bronze and lime green, and it forms lovely, neat round mounds to about 40 centimetres high. Finally, the low plants are going to be ground covers, and they're probably going to range anywhere from being completely flat to about 30 centimetres high. They're going to be on the edge of the bed or even between taller perennials. A great example is this blue-purple form of Viola heteracea, or the native violet. It forms a dense, weed-suppressing mat, a lovely flat ground cover, and you don't need to do anything to it. Another lovely ground cover perennial is this Erigeron. It's a beautiful one called Sea Breeze with these really pretty daisy flowers. It's not invasive like some of the other Erigerons and forms low mounds of foliage with these beautiful flowers. Ideally, give it a bit of a trim to get rid of the flowers at the end of the season, but it looks gorgeous. And this one here is Lamb's Ears, but it's a special form. It's a large leaf form called Big Ears. Beautiful silver grey hairy foliage, lovely as a border plant. It does produce spikes of flowers. The flowers themselves are rather insignificant, but a beautiful foliage plant. So all you need to do to maintain that is cut off the old flower spikes after flowering. Now this one here is an interesting one. It's an ornamental form of oregano, which has beautiful lime green foliage. For most of the year, it's quite flat. And then when the flower spikes come up, they get tall, maybe to 20, 30 centimetres high. At the end of the flowering season, it usually shows you where it wants a haircut. You can see it's got a mat of low foliage there and you simply come along with head shears, get rid of the old flowering spikes and your plant will look dense again. Go on, try your own ideas. With the right plants and some simple design techniques, you can create a perennial garden that will look spectacular year after year.